Hello, Internet people, people of the Internet. Welcome to the June Pickups. It's July. Recording this on the 4th of July, so happy 4th to those who celebrate. Uh, go hug a dog, please, and um, try to be a little less obnoxious, maybe. Hey, we're all awesome. Hug a dog. I'm Scotty Moe. Hello, welcome. June Pickups. First thing first, guys, it's arrived. It's here. The big thing everybody's talking about. We'll get to that in a second. Here's one big thing, though. First day of June, pick this up, a giant cartridge of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. My favorite video game. People are like, what, Sonic 3 and Knuckles? I like this one on its own. It's a short and sweet adventure fun time thing. Um, you can see how kind of shiny it is, but it's, it's 3D printed stuff and you can actually hang it up. And you might notice it in other videos sitting right there on that shelf because that's where I've decided to put it. But to give you an idea, here's the box of Sonic 3. So let's pull the cartridge out. Do a little size comparison here. And uh, you've got your big boy. Look at that. Never talk to me or my son again, right? Um, but that, yeah, it was it was a booth at, it was actually the, oh geez, what was the convention even? Oh my gosh, Three Rivers Comic Con. Um, a dude was doing 3D printed cartridges and it's a fun, goofy thing. I mean, if they, if he didn't have this sitting there, I don't know, what he did was he, he had the cartridges and then he would have it in files. He would have the sticker and put it on right there for you. But there was a bunch of uh, Pokemon ones that look pretty cool, like a giant Game Boy color, a colored Game Boy cartridge, like a big old yellow or blue or red. Um, and other ones, he had the variants like, uh, you know, the Jigglypuff version and stuff like that. Um, so I had to get I had to get that. I hadn't seen that yet. So at conventions and I, I thought that would be some cool wall art and um it's goofy uh, it's goofy and fun i didn't un stop recording did i nope just knock the mouse over um yeah i should probably shout them out and i forget the name and i'll add it in the description when i find that info so let's set down the big old big cartridge boy here and uh talk about my cool hat the brim is sad the brim is floppy it's from we love katamari Reroll Rever Royal. I couldn't do this in the unboxing either. Uh, we love Katamari Reroll Royal Revelry. Um, on the Switch, uh, they did physical versions on PS5 and Xbox One. Um, they re released the first one. Let's, yeah, let's not. I could be like Gilligan and Skipper too, right? Um, so they. Did a re-roll version of the first Katamari, and we have that on Switch. Uh, thank you, Sarah, getting me for that for my birthday, I think, a couple years ago. I forget when it came out. Um, but they've essentially just re-released them. I never played the second one too much. This is the second one that was out on PS2. Um, fun story about the first game, though. Uh, in college, I played it. I didn't have a PS2 until long after uh, they were out. In college, though, went back to my buddy's dorm uh, with him. He had to do some homework or something, and so I sat down... I was like, what do I want to play? Well, I'm killing time waiting for you. Popped in Katamari, had never played. I think I'd seen it once before, like heard the soundtrack before, but I never had actually sat down and played it. Um, and I, I was hooked. I was playing it. And then before I knew it, credits rolled. And I looked over to my buddy. I was like, uh, I think I just beat your game. And he's like, dude, I haven't even done that. I was like, sorry. It's, it's a short game, but it's fun. But this is the sequel. We love Katamari that was also on PS2 and um has a co-op mode but they do have uh, a selfie mode apparently and you can like make a playlist of your favorite tracks one of my favorite soundtracks in all the video games is the first game i don't know how well you can see this but since it's namco on the back there you can see uh inky pinky or whoever from pac-man one of the ghosts and uh selfie mode there but yeah very excited to actually sit down with that haven't had a chance to yet so let's set that guy aside and see what's next on the list some dreamcast demos came in from the debug indie magazine uh definitely check them out i will put a link below as well uh, i haven't cracked these open yet this one i basically had a very similar demo disc from the um uh, sega powered magazine but it's got uh driving strikers which is a lot of firsts go check out the indie game driving strikers it's essentially rocket league but in the 32-bit era but it's on a dreamcast four-player car soccer um, has online play, has online cross play with PC and Dreamcast. Uh, it's another first I can't remember, but I'll put a link to their Steam stuff in there because wishlisting them always helps indie games, helps people. It, it's weird. Wishlisting 
is the pre-ordering of GameStop, and I didn't realize how much it helps people. So go wish list driving strikers. Uh, but Debug Magazine is also awesome. Uh, I mentioned them on the last pickups video. Total Indie Magazine, entirely indie games. Um, this one has, uh, this is the latest one, number two here, the Indie Sampler. What's that? Is it going to focus or is it just going to stare at my fingers? Ah, whatever. But the um, Shadow Gangs Harlequest, which is a uh, court gesture thrown into a castle dungeon. Uh, but it looks pretty cool, and I'm excited to try those out. Just haven't had a chance to yet. So, but um, speaking of Dreamcast, speaking of, speaking of uh, let's not get there yet. Let's get to, went out to a random retro shop. I'd been there before, but they changed locations and revamped the place. Um, didn't find too many retro games though. Uh, I'll be honest. I think I'm just at the point where like the hunt is still f not as intense. The hunt is not as intense as it was for stuff. I have the games I want. I mean, look at these things. Uh, the, the big ones that I'm looking for, I might find in a store, maybe at a convention, more likely to trade something at a convention to not, uh, risk, you know, skipping rent for a month or whatever. Um, anyway, I picked these up. Uh, Rachel and I want to play the Kingdom Hearts games, at least one through three, probably just one through three. We're not super concerned with the story. She loves Disney Park stuff, guys, so don't worry. It's the square side is just there and uh, big boots and everything, but uh, we're going to start with those. And then I bought one of the most American games ever made, Metal Wolf Chaos XD. This is a mech game that was only put in Japan on original Xbox. And then Devolver Digital, for whatever reason, um, decided we're going to fix, we're going to right some wrongs and put this out to be more obtainable because it's it's a pricey thing, I think. Um, the inside cover is the most American thing you'll see. So I guess happy fourth again. Uh, we're probably going to end up playing American Hero today, though. Let's be honest, right? American Hero, FMV, you got to celebrate the right way. But Metal Wolf Chaos, I'm excited to get down with. Um, I've never said that before. I apologize, but people have told me it is the most American game I'll ever play. We shall see. That was out at Retro Gaming Asylum is where we grabbed those. Um, kind of flying through these guys. I don't mean to be so quick and rapid fire, but yeah, PS4 games. Very cool. And then another PS4 game showed up. Uh, I did an unboxing for this already. I did unbox. I threw an unboxing up for We Heart Katamari. Mm -hmm. And... This guy, Sonic Plus Origins on the PS4. 16 new playable characters is how I read that at first. I'm like, that's not right. Because it's got 16 classic Sonic games. That's the Game Gear ones. Um, and then you can play as Amy and Knuckles in Sonic 1, 2, 3, Knuckles, and CD. You can play as Knuckles and Knuckles. What's cool is they have... Um, you can play as, like, in Sonic 2... Uh, I tried out Amy in Sonic 1 and 2 and 3 a little bit. In Sonic 2, you can play as, like, Amy and Tails instead of Sonic and Tails. And in same thing for Sonic 3. Um, I think you can do Amy and Knuckles also in uh, in one of the games there. But they uh, have some cutscenes that are fun in this. And it comes with also an art book. I did the reversible cover already. You got the old school. Uh, everybody's holding up, you know, what they got there. Hey, Knuckles. He's holding this guy up. How about that, huh? Um, and then on the back, it's got the art style, like the first Sonic game. So that's pretty cool. Collection with attitude. Genesis does. Uh, and it has, you know, this there. And then there's the, I mentioned I already switched the artwork out. But what's cool is some of this stuff in the art book. Um, very nice little art book. Uh, I love the old school Japanese manual, um, like stick figure Sonic, I call him. I don't know. He probably has an actual name. And you got, so you got Sonic there, you got Tails, you got Knuckles, um, how they looked in the manuals to show you how to do moves and things like that. I mean, look at that. How can you not love bug-eyed Sonic freaking out when he's getting thrown across the world there? Huh? Good stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, there's what he was going to be at first, a bunny. And there's some other cool stuff in there. Let me see if I can see what I'm showing you. See what I'm showing you. Blurp, blurp, blurp. Sonic. I mean, Tails. Tails art. Um, Amy art. Cool Robotnik stuff. Hopping around. Uh, there he is with his pillow. You know, the original like concept art and stuff is pretty neat to have, uh, especially physically. The box art. 
Japan always had way crazier box art that some of it I do prefer, I will admit. Um, it's nutty, and it's good, and it's 90s. All the Game Gear games, Game Gear box art. This is neat because I don't know if this has ever been physically put out unless there's like a big coffee table art book that has it. Um, these were part of the Sonic the Screensaver forever ago when you would buy screensavers. Yes, remember that? You don't? Look it up. The, if, buy, a, buy a screensaver box today. Um, the best one is Tails sitting outside. He's not allowed in for Christmas. I don't know why. But because um, these were, I remember seeing these for the first time in Sonic Jam, the collection that released on Sega Saturn. Uh, and then they're unlockable in this game also, I believe. But you could just watch them. You could, you could just go through the art book in Sonic Jam. You didn't have to unlock them with coins or whatever dumb thing. There's them being cool in a band. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. And the last couple pages, more fun, goofy uh, manual how-to art, you know. I wouldn't mind getting one of those goofy things like tattooed on me, you know. Match them up next to these guys, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, Sonic Origins, Game Gear stuff. You can unlock the Symphony, which is really cool. Videos of the Sonic Symphony, which is also touring now, they announced. We're apparently going to Chicago for that. <clears throat> All right, guys, last big thing. Saved it for last. <sighs> Should have grabbed the water. Especially because I'm going to be so salty after a Tetris Chicken McNugget. Yes, baby. Imported from China. That's right. Uh... You got to know who you got to know to get one of these bad boys. But this is goofy and weird. I did an unboxing for this as well, which is going to be out next week. Um, this guy's big, right? So they made it. My box got destroyed. You made They made it look like a chicken nugget. And the box looked like the box for chicken nuggets. This thing is, I mean, you can see how big it is in my hand. You can see, let's get next to the cartridge again here. Do all these size comparisons. It doesn't need to be this big. Really doesn't. Um... It has an on button on the back, and then let's see if the mic will pick this up. Um, oh, now I gotta turn it on, hit the power button. I think you guys can hear that. If I talk next to it, maybe it'll play the fun Russian national anthem. Let's not celebrate that, but you know, that was the Tetris theme song. Uh, and then you can, all right, let's turn that music off. Um, so there's a, up down i mean there's a left down left right down and then there's a super down and then there's the turn button um what is this that's volume i could just hold it closer and you could probably actually see what those are but yeah volume power button pause button uh if you can change the difficulty oops um turn the sound back on there so it's not super responsive you've probably seen videos for it online by now but yeah, there you go. Oh, get over. Ah, I screwed up. There's no hold button, so you got to just deal with what you are handed. Uh, Tester's Chicken McNugget. Why does this happen? Because it's the, I turned it off. It's the 40th or something anniversary of the Chicken Nugget. I forget. Let's celebrate the Chicken Nugget. Tetris is up there too. Um, but it also comes with fun stickers, instructions, and stickers. These guys here, you've got, um, you know, you've got to have, you've got to have the classics like a Super Soaker, like uh, a Game Boy, like uh, what's it say on there? I Heart McNuggets. Mhm. Mm ah, come on, buddy, you can do it. I just want the people to see. The people aren't gonna see. Whoa, nuggets. There they are. Look at all those guys. Happy Children's Day. Have a slinky, I guess. I don't know. Burger, a camera, super soaker, rainbow, fizzy pop thing, more nuggets. And happy birthday to Grimace. Have you tried the Grimace shake and died? I have not. I heard it's overrated. And there's the clown. You don't see much Ronald anymore because clowns are scary. But Grimace, he's on a different level now. Um, Yeah, I got a Tetris chicken nugget. Why did I do that? I've been playing a lot of Tetris, actually, so that's one reason, and it's silly, and it's going to be something to talk about for years to come. Runs on two triple A's. Um, well, that's it, guys. That was June. It's July now. Uh, do we need to get the uh, we need to get the good picture right for the for the thumbnail? Whoa! Woohoo! 
Do we do this? Thanks, guys. Uh, there's other stuff probably coming in. It's July already. I hope you're having a good, safe summer out there. Uh, stay cool. And go maybe listen to my Static Zone podcast that I do with my buddy Corey. Um, that's always down below. I've got unboxings. The unboxing for this is coming up. Unboxing for this is already out. Uh, I'm streaming. Those shorts are on here, too. Everything's on here. Thanks, guys. That was June. Hope you have a good July, and I'll see you on the next one.